What is the Freeform app? Apple's Freeform app is a built-in whiteboard for the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Freeform is an infinite canvas app that lets you draw, write, add images, drag in documents, use shapes and links, and drag them all around. You can also use an Apple Pencil on the iPad. Freeform works well for things like a dream board, vacation planner, brainstorming whiteboard. Even coaches can use it for drawing up plays. You can use it on your own or in groups. When collaborating with others, you can see their edits in real time. So let's take a look at Freeform on the iPad. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhone and iPad. If you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never miss when a new video is posted. Let's get started. Let's make sure that we have Freeform enabled on the iPad. So I'm going to open the Settings app. I'm going to make sure that I have my name highlighted on the left side. I'm going to tap on iCloud. And where it says Apps Using iCloud, I'm going to tap on Show All. And then I'm going to scroll down until I see Freeform. And I just want to make sure that that toggle switch is turned on. As long as iOS and iPadOS 16.2 is installed, your home screen will display the app. And so to open the app, you'll just tap on the app to open and you may see a welcome screen appear. I've been into this area before, so the welcome screen no longer shows. But if you see a welcome screen, just tap on continue to create your first board. If you've already been in and haven't created a board, you'll go ahead and you'll tap on this icon up here in the upper right corner that looks like a paper and pencil. And if you're familiar with the Reminders app and the Notes app, this should look familiar to you because it's the same icon. I'll go ahead and I'll tap on that to create my first board. And it opens the canvas. And the default canvas is a grid view. If you don't like the little dots, you can come up here to the little arrow where it says untitled, tap on that. You can come in here and rename this board. So I'm going to go ahead and call this my first board. And then I'm going to tap the down arrow again, and you'll see some other options. You have the option to duplicate a board. You can favorite a board. I'll go ahead and click on that. You can unfavorite it, find something. Here is where you can change the view of the canvas. If you don't like the grid, tap on Hide Grid, and now you'll be seeing a blank canvas. I'm going to tap on the down arrow again. Below that, you can see the opportunity to export as a PDF or to print this board. At the top of the board, you'll see the toolbar for the actions that we can use inside the board. And on the far right, you'll see the undo icon. So if you put something on the board that you want to remove, you can tap on the undo icon. You also have the share sheet icon where you can come in and collaborate with other people. And when you do that, you can set up permissions by tapping on where it says only invited people can edit. So here you can use add the permissions of what they can do, whether they can view only or make changes. This is very similar to the collaboration area in the notes app and the reminders app. And then the far right icon is to go ahead and create another board. If I tap on this left arrow on the far left side to come back, this is where all of your boards will reside. And you can uh, either choose your boards to reside as icons or you could list them 
I like the icon view a little bit better. You can also sort them by date or by name or use groups. And then the little select option is if you wanted to delete a board, you tap on select and then select that board and tap on delete in the bottom right corner. So if I delete this board, it goes into the trash can. I can tap on it. And let's say I want to recover that board. I can just tap on the board and then tap recover. And now that board will come back into the all boards area. So now let's talk about uh, the toolbar and what we can do uh, when creating a canvas. I am not very artsy, uh, so I'll leave that up to you, but I'll just show you how the tools work and what you can do with them and show you a couple of boards that Apple created. So the first tool that we have is the uh, pencil or pen tool. And you have a listing of tools down here below along with colors. And if you tap on the more icon, toggle the switch on for draw with finger or auto, uh, auto minimize and pencil settings. I'm just going to tap out of there and I'm just going to choose a drawing tool. And when I do, uh, I can immediately start drawing. But if I tap on that tool again, another pop-up appears. So you can change the thickness of the tool, whether you want it thick or thin, and whether or not you want it at full capacity, or you can lower that opacity a little bit. So let me show you what it looks like drawing like that. So you'll see that it's a lighter blue when I turn down the opacity. If I increase it and I draw, you'll see it's a little bit darker. So you have these options and you can tap into the globe, uh, color globe, and choose any color that you want. I'm going to come back out of there and then I'm just going to show you the eraser tool. So if I tap on the eraser tool and then tap on it again, I can choose to draw by er an object eraser or a pixel. And here's the difference. If I choose pixel, then I can select a border because maybe I don't want to erase the whole thing. In this case, I do. So I'm going to leave it as pixel eraser and the largest circle I can find. And when I draw on that, I just erase all of the line pixel by pixel. If I come back in and I tap on object, when I erase it, now as soon as I touch that object, it disappears. So just remember that if you double tap on a, a pencil tool, it has other options available. So let me tap on the pencil uh, toolbar to get rid of that and tap on a sticky note and you'll see the sticky note appears. You can double tap inside of the st uh, sticky note to put in some text if you need to. You can then drag the sticky note if you want to make it larger from any of the corners. You also, if you just tap on the note, you'll have an option to change the color of the sticky note. You can increase the uh, size of the text inside the sticky note. You can make it italicized or underlined. Uh, you can duplicate the sticky note if you want. Um, so those are some options. Uh, for the sticky note, you can also delete a sticky note, tap on the more icon if you want, and give the sticky note a description if you want to. So many options. So that's how you create sticky notes. You also have shapes available to you. And so as you can see, there are a ton of different shapes available. You can go through and take a look at those. I'm going to go ahead and just grab a basic shape to show you how that works. Again, if I tap outside and then tap inside the shape, I can change the color of the shape, give it any color I want. I'll go ahead and do that. If I grab the green dot, I can actually change the dimensions of the shape by dragging it around. You can see uh, if I tap back in, I can increase the size. So again, you have tons of shapes available. Uh, you can use them, you know, on your board any way you want to. You can also attach shapes to each other 
uh, using a line. So if I tap on that, and I think it came, there it is, I can attach this by just snapping it to one uh, shape and then snapping it to the sticky note. I can position the line any way I want. Or if I tap like on the line itself, I'll get an option to either I can make it a an arrow, I can make it just a straight line, I can also have a different shape, a connection style. So I'll go ahead and change the connection style. And then using the green um, dot, you can position it any way you want. You can, you know, change the position of that line. So that's how you attach shapes to each other. And then I'm going to move on to the text area. So if I tap on the text, now you'll see that there's a text area. If I tap into it, again, you can increase the size of the text. You can change the color of the text, delete it, duplicate it. Uh, tap on the more icon, give it a description. There are so many options inside of a, the freeform app. Now let's move on to uh, the last option, which is images. So if I tap on images, I can either use photos or videos that I have. I can insert a document if I want to. Uh, let me just go ahead and say open. And I can position that there so you can add documents. I can add a link. So if I just type in uh, my website link and tap insert or enter, it should attach that. And again, you can always increase or decrease that size. I can go into photos and videos, and I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, come down to the albums, I'll grab puppies and add. And again, you can increase. There are so many options. If you are a creative person, there are so many options inside the Freeform uh, app that you can make all kinds of beautiful boards. Let me now show you some of the boards that Apple created when they introduced this at WWDC. So here's one of Apple's boards that they showed, uh, I believe during WWDC, where uh, they're using FaceTime while collaborating uh, on a board. And so this would be great if you wanted to gather your family together and create, say, a vacation board. You can also scale the board so that you can work on different areas of the canvas. You'll see in the lower left corner, it says 100%. You can actually drag that down to, I believe, 10%. And you can also scale it up as high as, I believe, 400%. So this allows you to kind of move around on the canvas so that you can use all of it. The Apple Pencil can only be used on the iPad, and to enable that, I'm going to swipe out of the Freeform app and open the Settings app, tap on Freeform, and then where it says Apple Pencil, you can go ahead and toggle that switch on. Freeform is a great digital whiteboard. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section and if you have some great uses for Freeform. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.